days are long, your car won't start It's hard to fix shit with the broken heart Got no growing up, it's not what it seems Man, Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelina in case some of you guys are new here And if you are new go ahead and click that subscribe button down below I upload every Wednesdays Fridays and sometimes Sundays as you guys can tell from the title already I am going to be showing you guys what is in my bag before we get started into today's video I just want to thank Teddy Blake for sending me one of their amazing high quality and luxury purses. I had the option to choose one of their purses out of all of their collections and I decided to choose this one. Thank you so much. I freaking love my new bag. I've been obsessed with it ever since I got it. I've been taking it out with me everywhere I go. I highly suggest you guys to check out Teddy Blake just because they sell such beautiful high quality purses and it's also a really great gift to give to your mom, your friends, or just anyone you love in general and they also have many other options and colors that you can choose from that's all I have to say so let's get into today's video the color is black and the material is leather and it also has these gold lockets at the front where you have to twist it in order to open it up like that and also this purse comes with a shorter strap and it also comes with a longer strap so it's a really versatile purse if you want a handbag or a strap bag personally I love both kind of styles I really love these with like you know cute dresses just like the one I'm wearing today and this is from YesStyle by the way or if I'm just going out running errands I do like to put on the strap me personally I do not like big purses just because I feel like it's unnecessary to carry all of those things in your purse so for me I'm just a person who really likes essential items so a small purse like this is perfect for me whenever I do carry a bigger purse it's only if I go to the movie theater and oh my gosh let me show you guys the purse that I brought I still have the purse this was my very first purse I ever purchased and you guys this thing is huge. Wow. It's really big now thinking about it We decided to go to the movie theaters. I used to work at Moe's. I would get food for my workplace and just make a burrito Just stick the burrito into this bag and a whole bunch of snacks and we will bring it to the movie theaters and eat it like it was nothing. I felt like such a badass. Yeah, that was just my little story about me sneaking a big burrito into the movie theaters. I just unlocked my purse. I guess that's the right term to use. So it opens just like that. Here's a little sneak peek. First thing I'm going to pull out is my wallet. This is from Coach. I've had this for about three years. My aunt got it for me for Christmas. It's been with me for so long that there was a strap attached to the zipper, but it broke because I just carry this around with me everywhere. And it's also just like it was brand new. It still looks good and I really love the color of this little wallet so when you open it up i just basically have a lot of trash in here you guys it's just a whole bunch of my credit cards my driver's license and just reward cards that's just how it looks like there's nothing really fancy in here that is really interesting to tell you guys anyways the next thing i'm going to pull out is this little pouch that i got from shein i got this for free actually i believe that if you shop over a hundred dollars on their website they give you like a free prize but i'm not sure if they do that anymore i actually got this like last year or two years ago and um i just added it into my cart and it was free i really love the color of this this pouch it just says she in and this is really light baby pink color and it also comes with a little keychain that has like a flower right here I mainly use this for either makeup or to put my coins in I carry my eyelash glue because sometimes I do wear falsies the next thing I decided to pull out is some lotion because my hand it gets really dry and crusty so I got this from Bath and Body Works is their Japanese cherry blossom and you guys this is my favorite favorite scent from their collection of course hand sanitizer having hand sanitizer is a plus every time i go to the store now so every time i get done shopping i immediately squirt some of my hands rub it in yeah having sanitizer is a plus even though it's really really hard to find so the next thing i'm going to pull out is a lipstick now my lipstick always changes here and there so if I do decide to put lipstick on I bring that lipstick that I'm wearing that day today I just had this L'Oreal Paris 
lipstick and on 444 lead and this is a beautiful beautiful color i highly suggest you guys to go pick this out because the texture of this liquid lipstick is so cooling because the texture is like really watery it's not a matte like thick liquid lipstick that you would have and i also really like the application it looks just like this it's slanted and it works really good to get this crevice of your lips and the shape of it i really like this lipstick i also got another one but it's like in an orangey shade my keys i always have my keys with me just because we're always going in and out of the house going grocery shopping going running at the park doing something productive the next thing i have is some vaseline i am obsessed with this um i recently just got this about a couple months ago because my lip was breaking out like crazy i think it had to do with the weather my lips just wasn't adapting well to it my lips actually broke out really really bad it wasn't like like cold sore breakout or it wasn't like a pimple breakout i just had like these really really tiny bumps on my lips and i think it had to do something with my oil glands i don't really know what it was but a week later it disappeared after i started using this and this has been my holy grail and i've just been committed to this ever since because it definitely helped my lips until this day i still don't know what that is but i had a whole bunch of tiny little bumps it was a little bit itchy, but it didn't really irritate me. Moving on, I always have an extra hair tie in my purse. In every single video, I don't know if you guys realize, but I always have a hair tie on my wrist. Lastly, I just have some feminine hygiene, and I don't really think you guys need to know about that. But yeah, that's basically all that I have in my purse. I know this video wasn't that long, but I decided to just show you guys what I have in my purse. I think it's really interesting to know what others people carry in their purse, what their essential need is, because I feel like mine is completely different. I don't really like to carry that much stuff. I also forgot I always make sure to bring a mask with me, but I always leave it in the car just because I know I'm going to be going out with that mask on. So those are my essentials, and let me know down in the comments what you have in your purse and what do you usually bring with you and if you like a big purse or a small purse i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do like this video go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and if you like to see more of me then subscribe down below i upload every wednesdays fridays and sometimes sundays thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye days alone your car won't start it's hard to fix it with the broken heart I know growing up, it's not what it seems